what's up YouTube, it's your boy JT here, coming at you with an update, it's been a few weeks since my last update, camera may be shaking there, but it's okay. Um, in this update I have lots of goodies for you, it's not just DVDs, um, it's DVD, VHS, um, Blu-ray, one Blu-ray, and something new, I'm going to try to throw a little bit of different stuff in my updates here, from here on out. I have some uh, video games and some uh, LPs, some vinyl records to share with you in this update. So, you know, let's get into it. See what you guys think about this mix up. You know, if you like it, let me know. I'll keep it going. If not, then I'll just stick to DVDs and VHS. But <clears throat> without further ado, let's get into this bad boy. VHS up first here. Picked up. <clears throat> Sorry. Got a frog in my throat. Um, picked up Rollerblade here. Don't know anything about this uh, movie. It's put out on Video Treasures budget label. Um, and it seems to be pretty rare from what I can find out about it. It looks pretty crazy. It looks like the guys from Guar on here with the Rollerblade chick from the 80s. It's got some crazy um, throat slashing stuff there. And it's just some Rollerblade goodness. But it was a dollar forty nine, so can't go wrong with that. Try to keep these out of the way. Moving on, picked up the Quest here. Nose is itching. Sorry. Um, this has Henry Thomas from E.T. The little boy from E.T. in there, and uh, this is a pretty rare flick. Also, it goes for twenty five, twenty six dollars on Amazon. So I figured I'd pick this up for a uh, buck forty nine. Um, but I still haven't watched this yet either. I haven't watched any VHS in a while. My DVD and media room is in shambles right now, so I haven't really been up there to watch much tapes or anything. Just been DVDing it up. And <clears throat> go ahead and show. Ah, nose is itching. Go ahead and show the Blu ray here. Got. Um, I think my camera's shaking. Whoa, Betsy. Um, picked up the Evil Dead here. Got this off of my boy J Dub of the Dead. You guys remember him from my videos. Um, we may be coming back and doing some videos together here shortly. Um, some reviews, maybe bring back reviews of the Dead or whatnot. But uh, Evil Dead looks really, really good on Blu-ray. And um, I'm not really going to pick up a whole lot of older stuff on Blu-ray because I don't think it really needs it. But this is most definitely worth it for the special features. Um, I need to get a tripod. But uh, definitely for the special features. It has over two hours of worth of special features, I think. And uh, it's just, you know, it's really worth it. Whoa. Something hiding in there. Oh, it's the bonus features. Yeah, it's two discs there. Um, well, it says limited edition, but uh, there's tons of, tons of copies out there at Walmart. I think it's... 17 bucks, 15, something like that. Um, let's go on to the DVDs here. Um, well, actually, I'll go ahead and do the video games. Picked up, uh, I've had this for quite a while. I'll just try to stabilize that there. Um, this is the Evil Dead Regeneration video game for PlayStation 2. Um, I've just been digging out some old video games and playing through them and stuff. And I figured I would show this. Uh, this is a really fun Evil Dead game. I think there's three games out. Um, there was one for PlayStation 1, uh, I can't remember, Book of Book of the Dead, maybe something like that. I have it also. Um, and then there was another one called Fistful of Boomstick, which I don't own um, yet, but I, that's the only one that I don't own. Really fun game if you're into the Evil Dead series. You get a little sidekick, uh, and Ted Raimi did the voice for uh, the sidekick, which is pretty funny. Next video game I've got in here is Resident Evil 5. And... Uh, I just actually finished this up last night. I played it for a few days straight. Um, really, really good game. This is the best in the Resident Evil series. I'm a big, huge fan of the, the game series. Not not so much the movies, but uh, this is the best in the series since the first one, in my opinion. Well, since the, since the first three, because the first three are really good. But this is definitely better than four. Same kind of gameplay almost as four, but it's set in Africa. Um, you see some familiar faces. You have Chris Redfield there again. You have Wesker in there and uh, Jill Valentine also. All of these people have appearances in this game. You know, if you're a fan of the games, check this out definitely. Um, really cool game. A lot of cool boss fights and cool graphics. It's worth checking out definitely. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get into the <clears throat> excuse me the DVDs. Picked up Scream, the original Scream here. This is still sealed. Got the set of pawn shop for two two dollars or something like that. It says three on it, but they had a deal that's four for ten dollars. So whatever that is, uh, two fifty I guess a piece or something. <clears throat> but uh, not really good at math. <laughs> But this is classic. I think this is pretty decent for Halloween time. To me, it has that feel. I don't know why, but um, Scream is just fun. And Part 4 is getting ready to come out, so I um, figured I would give these a watch again. I need to get 2 and 3. I like 2. Well, pretty good, but I didn't care for 3. But can't go wrong with the original. Leave these out of the way. Also, in that same lot of the pawn shop buys there, I picked up the Ace Ventura box set here. This has Ace Ventura. This is the one, I think this is out of print now, because you can only get the one with the two films in it now. Um, but this one has the bonus uh, Ace Ventura animated series DVD that has, I think, three episodes from the TV show, from the cartoon, which I really enjoyed the cartoon, and I would like to see more of it. Um, but, there, you know, these are just slim packages here. And it comes with, yeah, it's got three episodes, and one of them the Reindeer episode. And I remember watching that around Christmas of 95, something like that. Or it was somewhere in the 90s, I remember watching that. But uh, I love these Ace Ventura movies. These are classic Jim Carrey. I'm a big Jim Carrey fan, so you can't go wrong with Ace Ventura. If I can get it back together here. Moving on, picked up Little Monsters. Uh, this is Fred Savage from Wonder Years and Howie Mandel before Deal or No Deal and uh, before the germaphobe stuff, I think. I don't know. Um, but this is a really fun, good imagination movie for a kid. And uh, it's just a really fun movie. Little monsters. Uh, upgraded my copy of Night of the Living Dead to this other crappy copy of Night of the Living Dead. But the one I had was a dollar edition, so this at least has a legit case. Even though it has some CGI zombie looking crap on here that doesn't, you know, it's not in the movie. But, <clears throat> you know, it's a better copy than what I had. I'll eventually get the special edition with all the special features and whatnot. Halloween classic, too. You know, it's not living dead. Need not say more. Everybody knows I'm not living dead. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Picked up the Kung Fu Classic here. I don't know how close I am on you guys putting it right in your face. Gangsters. But, uh, picked up Enter the Dragon here. Bruce Lee, John Saxon, uh, and Jim, uh, ah, what's his name? Jim Lee? Is that his name? It's the guy I'm looking for here. Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly. Uh, African American Kung Fu expert with the afro. Um, I love Jim Kelly's movies. I can never remember his name though because I always think about Bruce Lee and mix the two. <sighs> Anyways, my favorite martial arts flick, hands down. Uh, favorite Bruce Lee movie, we'll say. But almost my favorite martial arts movie, except for No Retreat, No Surrender 2, um, Karate Tiger, Raging Thunder. That's my favorite action flick of all time. Probably my favorite movie of all time. But Enter the Dragon, check it out. <clears throat> Bruce Lee and John Saxon, you know, karate it up. I need to speed this up. I know we get longer time on here now, but it's taking a long time, seems like. Cyborg, <clears throat> John Paul Van Damme, post apocalypse, robot movie. What more do you want? Cyborg. Check it out. Another action flick. These this is like an action section, I guess, what I'm going through here. And this is the last action hero, or just last action hero. Schwarzenegger classic from my childhood. Can't go wrong. I'm trying to get all the Schwarzenegger movies. Uh, used to have action figures of this, too. Um, I used to joke and say it was the last action figure. Yeah. Good movie, good soundtrack. First CD I ever bought soundtrack to that. Picked up another copy of Army of Darkness, trying to get different releases of the Evil Dead trilogy. And this one was worth it for the special features because I had the bare bones, uh, I don't know, Warner Brothers maybe, or I don't know who put out the other one, but this is Anchor Bay release. I need to do some changing on the case, it's beat up. But cool featurettes with director and special effects guys. I'm always 